after last week's intro, people are trying to get me to do accents for the rest of the intro. And to that, I say no. This is the intro now. You know what? Let's start the video, all right? Make sure to subscribe, because if you do subscribe, then that is really good. And you'll see my videos more often. And, ooh, look at my shoulders. Ooh. Okay, let's start the video. Ooh. Hello. Welcome back to X-Life. Not sure what that was, but here we are at our new Waystone wet day. We're going to be working on this area around here. I want to add in some more trees, make this place look a bit nicer but first oh no yep here look at this callum has decided to uh get me back for the sign i put up and uh added in some some photos of me that are not my best oh no oh god this is oh. right well he's giving me some dark oak as well so that's nice of him but god that i that is that is gone instantly it's ruined the the serenity of Jeremyville. This is payback for me calling him a thief, which is fair enough. Oh, but look, he's ruined my path. He's added a dirt block in. That is too far. Oh, I just had to use up one of my shovel efficiencies. So how the heck did he get this up here? There we go. And these are, I'm going to burn these. I don't want to see these again. There you go. There's one. There's two. There's three. Beautiful. Also, Callum said that he's going to pay me the interest. However, those five diamonds are not here. He put them in in his video. I am gonna pay him the. I'm gonna pay him the interest. I would still quite like to see him build the thief thing bigger. But they're not here. So did he? Did he lie? What? Well, we haven't got the diamonds yet, and I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's uh he's removed my sign, which which Jimmy has replaced with the diamond designs <laughs> advertising. But we need to rebuild this. Let's do this. And we said twice as big. Oh god, it's gonna be really big. And let's not use glass this time, as that's a bit mean. We'll use something else. Okay, let's see if this is big enough for Callum. Oh, we made it one too tall. Oh well, there we go. I think that's a bigger size. And also, if you look on the other side of it, I use cobblestone and dirt to uh, to fill it up. So it looks very, very ugly. Very easy to break down, but very ugly. So yeah, maybe give me those five diamonds, Callum. Instead of lying about it, unless you put them somewhere else. And if that's the case, I'm I'm so sorry. So spawn stars look pretty cool right now and right over here we have a new shop in town the apple store jimmy is selling three golden apples for one diamond interesting on airpods for four diamonds right oh my gosh there's a picture of him with them in might have to buy some airpods to be honest well, there we go and i presume you just wear these by putting them on your ears like so nice i am now cool i'll keep the sunglasses with me however I do like the AirPods. Now, last time I said I wanted to put like a little tower up here, and I still think that'd be a really cute idea right next to this tree here above the panda. And I've had an idea. All we need now is a nice little tower. Take it away, Joel. That's me. I'm gonna build something right now. Now the tower is pretty straightforward. Nothing too crazy, just a nice medieval tower, which I sort of found a very similar design on Google. So you can probably find it yourself. I was just looking on Google images and I just sort of made it my own different blocks, etc. As I don't know why it is, but I always struggle on making towers look good, but I'm really happy with this one. I think it turned out really nice and it is in fact a watchtower. That's why it's so open up top here and there's actually going to be a watcher in it, as you'll see in a second. Before that watcher, we had to build a little bridge over to it. So I made this adorable little design, nothing too crazy, but I think it looks really cute. Oh, and that brings us to here. As you can see, I've made a little path way up to this thing across the bridge. I think it looks really nice and I love how it looks from over here. Let me get up on my carpet. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that looks nice behind the panda head. Oh gosh. Ooh, that was an accident. I think I survived that, but still. And if you come up this little alleyway here, I really love how this looks. This little pathway up to the base where you can see it in the background. Beautiful. And in uh, the rain, as I was saying, inside the tower itself, we've done a bit of decorating, nothing too crazy, just some barrels, I put a little plant down and stuff. So I had to keep it basic, but if we head up this ladder, it leads all the way to the top, as you can see here. And we've got four little compartments, as we're going to need four watchers looking each direction. And we need watchers of all types. I think we definitely need a villager who can look out for like pillagers and stuff. So let me plop our first watcher down in here. And this is, of course, Watcher Willy 1. Maybe a sheep can look out. Yeah, he can look out towards Lizzie's. 
So there's our Watcher Willy 2. Not sure if this guy over here has escaped from Moomy Meadows, but he's got no name. We'll take him. He can be Watcher Willy number three. Finally, I hope this guy can fit in a one by one space. Yes. A lovely llama who can be Watcher Willy 4. And there we go. We've got all our Watchers in our tower looking out. Although some of them kind of looking at each other, which I mean, I don't feel too safe, but hopefully a bit safer than before. So I've just noticed we've got a chest here with the Jeremyville P.O. Box 1, which can only be from one person, and that is Lizzie. It says, Dear Joel, your generous offer has piqued my interest. Meet me in the pink windmill when the sun reaches its apex. Love from your overdramatic wife, Lizzie. Okay. Well, I've actually created a list here of Joel's Jeremy's and how many diamonds I'll give per animal. So obviously we've got the fox for 10, deer for 10, walrus for 10, goat for 10. But then I've noticed there's hedgehogs and I've not seen one. So 25 for a hedgehog and badgers and squirrels as well. So 15 each for those. So let's go meet Lizzie in the windmill. I'm not sure when the sun meets its apex, but we'll head there right now and hope that the sun is at its apex, I guess. I presume that's midday. Ah, hello, Joel. Hello. W Thank you for joining us. Us? Who's this? This is my bodyguard. Oh. He's here to ensure that there's no funny business. <laughs> okay, fine. Fair enough. I heard you're interested in taking me up on my offer. Yes. What animals would you like? Well, I've actually written a list here, Lizzie, of my Jeremy's, if you want to take a gander. God, he's getting close to you. That's bodyguard. Joel's Jeremy's. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna call them all Jeremy? Lizzie, do you even know me? If I can get all of these, I'm gonna be so rich. Yeah, and I'm gonna be rich with love from the animals. Oh, go away. Does that sound good to you? All those prices okay? I'm in, Joel. Good, good, good. That's really good. So when am I expecting the animals? Actually, you know what? No time limit, Lizzie. Take your time. I'll be happy. So we said we're going to have Animal Alley here. And I think this bit is technically part of Animal Alley, I'd say. And I've had an idea. <laughs> Pardon the pun. Because for my deer, I want to have like a little wooded forest here and someone suggested in the comments last time an idea that i was already thinking of doing which is to make this hill not disappear completely but instead turn it into a lovely waterfall leading up to this pond here which then sort of makes a double waterfall and i think that could be adorable i kind of love terraforming at the moment and i kind of feel like doing this right now. Probably gonna have to push this back a little bit, make it a bit nicer looking. As if we pan around, it's still covering up quite a lot of the base. But I think like a wooded forest with some like spruce trees in here would look really nice. So let's get out our tools, get out some backpacks and let's get rid of this beast. So I wanted this to be a nice nature reserve in front of the base and just have a bit more greenery, have a bit more trees in here as I've been using a lot of leaves but not adding in a lot of trees. So that's what I did here and we actually made this waterfall one of the best waterfalls I've ever made. I'm really, really happy with how the terraforming looks on this with all the rocks, the coarse dirt, everything. Plus we added some leaves in here as well, made it look nice and overgrown. Still learning when it comes to all this terraforming stuff and honestly, I'm really happy with my progress. We actually added in a nice spruce tree there as well. That's the biggest spruce tree we're actually going to have out of all of these. And then we started cordoning off this place because obviously we don't want these deers to escape. So I did this lovely brick wall around the edge here with this fence on top of it, plus a few lanterns on it. And we also added this bridge over the river there, which I think looks really cool. Then got working on a load of spruce trees because we want this place to look like a forest sort of thing, except obviously it's two separate little bits of forest as this one here is on the other side of the river but we had loads of rocks and stuff some lanterns and i think it's looking really good and here we are i think this place is looking lovely i added in some pod sills some rocks etc this is the little bridge that goes over the waterfall past this massive tree here we got lots of space for the deer to hang round in obviously not a huge area because i didn't want to go too overboard as at the moment i only asked lizzie to get me one deer which probably was a bit of a mistake but hopefully we can find another deer to breed with that deer if they can breed I have no idea but if I have a little fly up over here you can see how it's looking oh yes look at that oh isn't that looking also complete apart from the oh there it's loaded in but yeah from down here it looks really nice I'm loving the levels I've got going over here. Like we've got Jeremyville down in the valley looking really nice. We've got the windmill up here. We've got the base looming over everything. Panda Rock. This area up here is sort of like midway. Then this bit's even higher. Then we're going to have another layer up there, which is going to look awesome. Man, it's raining. Gross. But yeah, really happy with this and the double waterfall. Everything, it just flows so nicely and just looks Really, really good in my opinion. And I'm not sure what we're going to put over this section here. Obviously, this is the lead up to the base. I feel like we need to have some more trees around here and stuff. Maybe some pathways, etc. 
We'll see what happens. But now we're actually going to go meet up with Lizzie, as I believe she's got some animals for me. Well, I have collected some fine specimens for you here if you'd like to inspect Ooh. them. Wait, every single one? Every single one. Oh my gosh, this is going to cost me a lot of diamonds, isn't it? Oh, a very cute squirrel. Oh, already it's named Jeremy. It's an albino Jeremy. squirrel. Oh, I didn't know as they existed. As you can see, it has murderous red eyes. I'm very, I'm struggling to see it. Oh gosh, he's trying to escape. Okay. Yeah, that's well. why he's contained like that they're yeah. very escapey next we have jeremy the badger oh yes oh he's he's terrifying nice and cute. what terrifying he's cute look at his little you're claws. not scared of him no why is he deadly will he hurt me no i don't think so okay good uh next we have the hedgehog oh my gosh that is adorable <laughs> oh yeah that's cute yep yeah, love it love him jeremy oh the gosh. goat yeah jeremy the goat classic oh i like him as well yeah he's really cute classic. i like his little beard matches mine and here we have walrus jeremy walrus jeremy is huge what the heck oh my but yeah love oh hello okay love him he's love his tusks very nice we've got deer jeremy oh this looks like a female deer though or is it i don't know the antlers i can't really tell i don't know it's quite hard to tell i was thinking i probably want two deer but too late now isn't it oh well i'll go find one why do you want two so i can breed them why do you want to breed them because i'm building a wildlife reserve for them ah i see yeah and then finally jeremy the fox i love jeremy the fox he's very cute he's i like so cute. Yeah, he looks a bit cross-eyed. I don't know if that's just me. I know. I know. But... So, according to my calculations, you should now owe me 95 diamonds. 95? Holy moly. There you go. Ooh. <gasps> Yes. That is 95. Nice. Thank you for doing business. I'll come pick up the pets. It may when take a while, them. yeah, for me to yeah, make an enclosure for all of them. The, the deer will be done first, but thank you very much. I'm rich. So I've got my lasso. I'm going to go grab dear Jeremy quickly. Here he is. I'm not sure if it's a he or a she. We're going to definitely get another deer to... We're definitely going to get another deer to put with dear Jeremy. Another dear Jeremy, I'd guess. Let's plop them down inside the new enclosure. Yes, Jeremy. How you doing? Do they like carrots? Is that what they eat? Oh gosh, he's zooming. I can't click him with carrots, so maybe not. I'm pretty sure there's no way he could get out. Like, little edges like this make me worried, but pretty sure he's stuck in here. So I hope you enjoy your life, dear Jeremy, in here. I'll get you some friends soon, I promise. He's loving life. Look at him. Can he cross the bridge, though? Oh, he can't get over the bridge. Oh, that's sad. We might have to change the bridge slightly so that he can get over, but we'll do that another time when we get our next deer. Now, we're actually going to head to Scott's quickly, as we need to name one of his chickens again. I'm not sure if he's noticed yet, but either way, stupid Jeremy's still here. Let's name this one Idiot Chicken Jeremy. There we go. Perfect. And we actually have 39 more name tags here. That's because I fancy doing some name tagging. Not here. Oh, no. But at Jack's humble abode here, because Jack has actually gone away and put in the X-Live chat that he... <gasps> Wait, he's got a deer with antlers. Yeah, he put in the X-Live chat. Ow! He put in the X-Live chat. Oh, it's the eel. That he's going away for a bit, so if you're going to prank him, prank him now. And I thought of a good prank. And that prank is basically name as many of his animals, Jeremy, as I possibly can. But obviously we don't want to override any names. So we'll just name the ones that haven't got names like this one here, this one here, and that one. <laughs> Has his llama got one? Nope. Now it does. What about his panda? Nope. Now it does. The blue boys? Now they do. All called Jeremy. Yes. Nice. And these two deer? I'm going to have to get some of these other deer. There we go. All called Jeremy now. Kind of scared of his alligator. It's called Malcolm. So they've already got names. I'm not going to name those two. I'm pretty sure they've already got names. But that's a... I think that's a decent amount of named animals. I can't find any more. So that'll be a nice fit for him to come back to. Ring the bell to celebrate. While I'm in the area, may as well check my shop. Oh my gosh, we're way out of stock on some things here. We need to get some more way scrolls desperately. Someone bought a load of golden carrots. That's good. 15 diamonds. Not bad. Joey has opened up a new crystal shop, which... Oh my gosh. This is looking awesome. Holy moly, I love it. What's he selling in here? What do these do? Wind essence? 10 diamonds per staff. And then you choose what they do. What do they do? Let's buy a water one with our diamonds we got here. You buy the staff, buy the essence, and then you combine them. Let's find out what this does. Also, apparently Callum has completed our dare of getting the elytra. So we have to give him 25 diamonds. Although he still owes me five diamonds. So maybe we should just give him 20. Actually, you know what? It's up to him to decide whether or not he gives me the diamonds. So let's give him all 25 because I actually go through with the things I say I'm going to do. And we're not going to leave him another dare. 
until it gives me those five diamonds. Here we go. All right, what does this do? Turn out a bubble. There's now a bubble in the water. There's a frog there. Let's see what happens to it. Oh, oh my gosh. Wait, what? It made the frog levitate. This alligator here is now levitating. Will it still do it on land? Ha <laughs> ha, stupid crook. Get killed, mate. If anyone knows if that has any other purpose, please let me know in the comments. But finally, let's change all the Jeremyville signs to free new awesome fan arts. Starting firstly with this awesome sign from Matt one on Twitter. Love it. Very, very cool. Chicken's not allowed. Very important. And another one here from Stitch3AM on Instagram. Looking sweet. Chickens ain't welcome. I'm not sure who that is, but I appreciate the sentiment. And then finally, this awesome sign here from your boy Fine or Finn or Drawing Raccoon. Looks awesome. Me and Lizzie and of course Mary and Buddy. Very, very cute. And with that, I think it is going to be the end of the episode. We got a lot of progress done today. Why is my base not loading in? Please. There we go. This area is starting to look really dense and really awesome. I'm very, very happy. If you've got any ideas for what I can build for the other pets we have, please let me know in the comments down below. But that is all we have got time for this episode. Make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe if you're new and I shall see you another time. Goodbye.